This is Stefan Welka. I'm going to show you how to install Quake 2 on an Android phone for the dive. Go to dorovis.com, download the software, download Native Sensors APK, download Quake 2 Android and APK, open the Quake 2 Android APK. Press install. Ready? Download native sensors A APK. I think I've already did this several times. Install. Both uh, applications are installed. You now start with Quake. With Quake, there's the possibility of going to settings, tools. Now we need to download the Quake 2 shareware data from the web. You can download it from the official IT software site. Switching downloading to a mirror can help with the speed. The file is about 40 megabytes and contains the shareware version of the Quake 2 content. That means the graphics, the levels, the sounds, everything. Okay, it's almost ready, 35 megabytes now. Download done. It's extracting everything. And it's done. Push on done. Okay, now uh, be sure before you start Quake that you stop the old instance of Quake because this application is rather demanding and may lead to a lockup of the phone when you start Quake and it's already running. So if you want to start Quake always make sure there's no Quake left here. Okay so now start the native sensors app A black screen means everything is okay and the native sensors app is running. Now go back to home button and now start the Quake 2 app. So now you can start Quake 2 UDP side by side stereo. Okay now it came to the console. If you push the back button you get to the menu if you push on the upper left screen edge, you activate a screen menu. You can either choose keyboard or D-pad. Choose D-pad, go down, or go up to game. Push this button, easy, start, and then you can hide the on-screen keyboard. There you have it, Quake 2 head tracking. At the start the head tracker converges to its most probable position. Now you can move the phone. Oh, it's too bright. Okay, <laughs> that's how you s install Quake. Now what you can do is pair a Bluetooth controller with the phone or a Bluetooth keyboard. With the Bluetooth keyboard you don't need the on-screen keyboard which works very good. And with the controller you might need to set up the buttons right. That works by going to the menu. Using the D-pad you can go down to options, select options. Select Customize Controls and here you can set Attack Key, uh, Turn, uh, Strafe Left, Strafe Right, Key, Forward, Backward, everything. You can set it by keyboard or you can download a config file from the Durovis site and put it in the Base Q2 folder on your phone. That works with the Snakebite iCade controller. 
once you're done setting up you need to make sure that the and you if you're if you're okay with the settings and it works good for you make sure that you save the set settings to save the settings you have to choose quit with the d-pad now it asks quit yes or no now you have to bring up the keyboard and type the yes key now the settings are saved and quake 2 has ended I'm not sure if it's ended I'll, I'll kill it anyway it's better okay quake 2 UDP start okay now you can choose the d-pad go back to menu and start again Okay, that's all. You can also make an auto exec file in the base Q2 folder and start up a level instantly when you start the game. That's it.